If this is you, don't do Airbnb. Hey guys, my name is Michael Crockett. I'm a short-term and mid-term rental operator here in Sacramento. In just 14 months, I built a six-figure business and I'm here today to talk about what you need to do to do the same. Although this business is really fun and you can make a lot of money and a lot of success, there's also some bad hosts out there that are doing some pretty bad things. So I'm gonna tell you about a few things that they're doing that are really kind of setting themselves up for failure. The first thing, they're silent. They're not communicative. They're not proactively reaching out to their team. They're not analyzing feedback and putting that feedback into their business to improve it. You can't be silent as a leader or a business owner. You have to be communicative. You have to be able to motivate people. So being silent is the first way to watch your business crash and burn. If you're a person that can't motivate people, this probably isn't the business for you. You gotta be able to not only motivate yourself, but also the people that are running the processes that you've built to automate your business. So that means making sure that they are working towards their goals and understand the goals of your business. This is a tricky one because a lot of the work that you need to do upfront to start your business is gonna be research. You are gonna have to use a lot of information and data out there to make sure that you're making the right decisions for your business, right? But what I see so often is people get stuck in this pattern of analysis paralysis. Analysis paralysis is the perpetual seeking of data and information to inform decision-making without actually making a decision. And I see it a lot of times because no one wants to make mistakes, right? A lot of people are afraid of making mistakes, but in this business, you need to understand that mistakes are gonna happen. And they're actually one of the best free tools that you have to learn, right? And make improvements in your business. So don't get stuck and bogged down on the research and analysis because before you know it, you will have made no decision and you'll take in no action. And there's definitely some horror stories out there. I've seen a lot of hosts who are just really fascinated about this idea of having control over everything. Just stop. You're not gonna be able to control every aspect of your business. In fact, you don't wanna control every aspect of your business. You wanna have people help and facilitate control along with you, right? So the fastest way that you're gonna burn out is to try and do everything yourself and make all the decisions. Just basically kiss, sleep, goodbye. If that's, you know, if you don't like sleep, just decide to control everything. But one of the first things you have to learn is to release some of that control, right? And that comes with building a certain degree of trust, not only in yourself, but also in the team that you're gonna build. So there's a few things that I would never consider doing because of the direct impact they're gonna have on my business. The first thing is making all the decisions. Heck no, right? When you first start your business, there are gonna be so many decisions that you need to make. You know, where are you gonna start your business? How is the place gonna be set up? Who's gonna be your ideal guest? How are you gonna facilitate cleaning? How are you gonna communicate with guests? And the list goes on and on and on. So if I was to sit down and try and make all those decisions myself, I would just explode, literally, because it, the amount of work and time it would take to do that is nearly, it's impossible for one person to do. So the fastest way that, you know, you could crash and burn your business is to try and do everything yourself. And it's not sustainable, right? Even if you're a person that think you can really do it in the beginning, it's just not sustainable. And this control thing ties directly into building systems, right? Systems and documented processes are things that allow you to automate certain aspects and components of your business, right? Without documented systems, without documented processes, all the information is here. And all the information being here, it doesn't help your team, right? The people that you're training to help you do this job, to do this work, actually do the job consistently, right? You've gotta be able to take time and get what's up here in terms of the processes and things that you know how to do and document them right step by step by step so that someone else can be taught them and that they can facilitate them themselves. Another thing that I would never do because of the direct impact it would have on my business is ignore feedback. I cannot believe how many people I have met in this space, other hosts who just ignore this free feedback and information that guests give to them, right? Oh, we don't like your house because the beds are too creaky. Or we would have been nice if you had a larger refrigerator. All this free information, this free data that you're getting from your customer right your ideal guests who you're trying to serve you should be taking that in and putting it directly into your business as a source or as a way to improve the business right same thing with people uh, with feedback from your teams right if someone says hey I don't you know the communication structure that we have right now isn't really that effective maybe they don't they can't respond to text messages timely or maybe they prefer phone calls maybe they prefer meetings in person right you need to figure out what is the most effective way to streamline the processes in your business. And a lot of times that is done through getting feedback from your customers, from your team, because that feedback is free 
and it allows you to make improvements, which actually at the end of the day, makes your job as an operator, as a business owner, a lot easier. So those are some of the big, huge, gigantic things, right? That you shouldn't do as a business owner or short-term, mid-term rental business operator. And now I'm gonna tell you some of these other things that you might not have thought of that are actually really important too. So one of the more minor things that people don't really think about in this business is little things, right? Nuances that impact the guest experience, right? The guest experience is huge. It's the reason why they're booking with you. It's the reason why they'll come back and spend more time and book with you again, right? So little things that impact their experience actually have a huge impact in your business. The first thing is uh, giving them something that maybe they weren't expecting or offering experience that wasn't promised. It means as little as showing up to a dirty house, right? The guests, when they book your place, they're expecting a clean, fresh place to be in, right? So if they show up and you got the beds not made, the laundry isn't finished, there's crumbs on the floor and the floor is not swept, that's immediately gonna impact their impression of the experience that you promised them, right? It's not what they're expecting and it's a bad surprise, it's not a good one. So as a host, should you ever cut corners? Eh, sometimes, especially if there's a time crunch. Here's a perfect example, right? You have guests that are coming to arrive to your house at a certain time. Let's say check-in time is four o'clock and they really, really, really need to get in there early. Like really, really need to get in there early, right? So, um, you know, rules stay you know in, in terms of when they can access the home that they're not supposed to check in into that four o'clock time but if they're really asking for it and you know it's going to help improve their experience right then you might be apt to kind of break the rules and allow them to do it now if you're going to break the rules right if you're going to cut corners you got to make sure that you put in preventative actions in place and in this situation the best thing you can do is hey let the cleaners know right if they're there cleaning that they've got to work a little bit faster or that the guests might be there a little bit early. That way they have a heads up and they're not surprised. Everyone kind of knows what's going on. Also let the guests know, hey, you know, you want to check in a little bit early. The cleaning is not quite done yet, right? So are you going to be okay with that? If you see a couple of extra blankets on the floor or you see the cleaners mopping, make sure they understand what the expectations are before you agree to bending the rules. So, hey guys, if you like this. Hello? Hey man, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to remind you to tell them to subscribe, that's all. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm gonna let them know. So, as I was saying. Oh, and tell them it helps the channel too. Remember that part. Thank you, Michael. I've got it from here. So, as I was saying. Have I, as the operator or business owner, ever experienced the feeling of wanting everything to be perfect in my short term rental? Yes, I have. <laughs> Who hasn't, right? I don't want to build a business that's gonna burn in a day. I want it to be the most successful business that I could ever build, right? So of course, perfectionism is something that I chase, right? It's something that I want, but at the end of the day, I also realize that perfection does not exist, right? And that is a big lesson that a lot of new operators learn in this space, right? They think they have the, all the answers and they want to have control over all the decisions in order to uh, arrive at a perfect product or a perfect business. Well, folks, that ain't reality and it's not happening. The first thing you need to do is sit yourself down and realize that nothing's gonna be perfect, right? And it's gonna be a hard lesson, especially in the, when the beginning when you think you're doing everything right. There's gonna be mistakes. And actually, as an owner, you need to understand that mistakes are super valuable. Why are they valuable? Because they teach you things, right? They teach you how to be a problem solver. They teach you how to make adjustments. They teach you how to make the decisions and to build preventative actions so that those same mistakes don't happen again. So embrace the mistakes, embrace the ups. They're gonna happen. And when they do happen, don't worry about it. And don't worry about being perfect. Just identify the root cause for them and then build a process or a system to make sure they don't happen again. Are there any specific states of mind that you need to have as a business owner? Yes, there is. You need to understand first that a lot of the motivation and the drive, the driving force behind the business, it should come from you. So you should be enthusiastic. You should be positive. You should be goal oriented and goal focused, right? If you're a person that can't make goals, don't do this business because you will not succeed, right? Get up, make goals, be proactive, be positive. And those are traits that's gonna make sure that you're gonna be successful day one in this business. If there's one thing I can add to make sure that you're gonna just go out and knock this business out is to take action. Please take action. A lot of people, they sit, they sit down and consume so much information and so, and so much data 
and they wanna do everything perfect and they end up not taking action. It's the worst thing they can do. So I want you, even though you think you're gonna make a mistake or even though you think you're gonna just it up, I want you to get out there and make mistakes and I want you to take action. I want you, even if it's just one thing, right? Just one thing that you've learned from this video, this information, go out, take action, make some mistakes and then fix them and then do it all over again, okay? All right, I hope you guys have really liked this information. I wanna see you get out there and make some mistakes, but also make some good decisions, right? And fix them really quick. And uh, if you like the content, go ahead and hit that like button or subscribe. It really helps me out and appreciate it.